In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital crash zoom right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films. And yes, in today's video, we're talking all about the crash zoom. Now, when it comes to the crash zoom, there are two shots that you need to capture in order to do this effect. The first shot is a big wide shot. This could be of absolutely anything, it doesn't matter. You just want to find a subject that you're going to zoom into. So in my example, I've got a big wide shot of the London Eye. And now the second shot is going to be the exact same subject centered in the exact same point in the frame, but a little bit closer. So I'm gonna place the London Eye in the very center of the wide shot, and then we'll zoom in to the second shot, which is the London Eye in the center again, but this time it's just zoomed in. I've just increased the focal length. And you also want to make sure that both of these shots are on a tripod to make things easier for yourself. So once you've got those two video clips, you want to drop them into Adobe After Effects and begin by creating a brand new composition. So once we're inside of After Effects, we're just gonna go new composition and we want to rename this to crash zoom. Make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. And then you can also make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels and the frame rate is 23.976 frames per second. Then we'll just increase the duration to 10 seconds and press OK. Now you want to go ahead and you want to drop your two video clips into After Effects. So we're just gonna drag those down onto the timeline and we've got crash zoom in and then crash zoom out just underneath. So roughly two seconds into the video, you want to select crash zoom in. That is the first video clip. Hold command, shift and D. And then you just want to delete the second part of that. And then without moving the cursor, you want to hold command, shift D, selecting zoom out. So that is the second clip and delete the first part of that. So you should have one clip going into the next clip. Now at the very end of the first clip, we want to add a zoom in. So. You want to go into this drop down arrow, go into transform, position, scale, and we're going to create a brand new keyframe on both. So select the stopwatch on position and scale. Now we'll move that towards the very end. Make sure those keyframes are at the very end of the first video clip. And then we'll go back one, two, three, four, five keyframes, and we'll create a brand new set of keyframes. Now we'll go to those last set of keyframes. We'll move those back in time by one keyframe. And then we'll increase the scale all the way up to the point where the London Eye is back in the center of the video. And then from there, we want to take a look at our second video clip. So second video clip, the London Eye is roughly this big. So you want to zoom the first clip to the same size as the second shot roughly. So we'll go to the second set of keyframes and we'll increase the scale to roughly where about it needs to be. So there we go, that's about right. Of course, it's not perfect, but that's totally fine for now. We're just gonna move those second set keyframes over to the right by one. And if we play this back, that is starting to look really cool. Now from here, we're just gonna select all of those keyframes that we just created. We'll right click on one of the keyframes. It doesn't matter which one. We'll go into keyframe assistant and we'll select easy ease. Now, if we play this back, that is a lot smoother. Now we're gonna go ahead and select crash zoom out. We're gonna pull the duration of this over to the left a touch. And then we're gonna load up the scale and the position again. So we're gonna select the drop down arrow, select transform and we've got scale, position, rotation, everything there. But we're gonna create a brand new keyframe on position and scale at the exact same moment as the last set of keyframes from the first video clip. So we've got the end keyframes here and we'll create new keyframes here on the second video. Now we'll go back maybe three or four keyframes. We're gonna turn off crash zoom in. So we've only got this layer and we're gonna decrease the scale to around 60%. Now we'll go into effects and presets and we'll search for motion tile. And we'll drop the motion tile on to video layer two, that is the crash zoom out. Now inside a motion tile, we're gonna change the output width to 300. We're gonna change the output height to 300. And then we're going to select mirror edges. 
And as you can see, we've filled in that black space around the video. Now, just like we did with the first video, we just want to select all of those keyframes that we just created. We're going to right click, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now we'll turn the first layer back on. We'll press the eyeball icon. And as we're zooming, we just want to reduce the opacity. So we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on opacity, roughly halfway between those keyframes. That should be set to 100. Move over two keyframes and we'll pull this down to 0%. Now, when we play this back, we're really starting to get somewhere. There is one more thing that we need to do though to really sell this effect off and that is to apply the motion blur to the footage. So we're going to close down these two video clips. We're going to select both of them and turn on the motion blur. You also want to make sure that the motion blur is activated within the sequence and the way that you check this is by looking at this motion blur icon here. If it's not blue then you want to select it. If it's blue the motion blur is on, it's activated. So now all we need to do is just play this footage back and there you go once that's rendered out you can see we've got this really awesome crash zoom effect right inside of adobe after effects so to quickly recap all you need for this effect is two shots you need one wide shot and one close-up with the subject positioned in the same point in both videos so if the subject is in the middle for the first it will be in the middle on the second then all you need to do is drop these into after effects zoom at the end of the first shot zoom at the start of the second shot, blend the two together, and you've got this really awesome seamless crash zoom effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So if you enjoyed watching this video or if you found it useful at all, if you learned anything, then please do consider subscribing. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.